What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a slightly unusual one. I have a special request for Eagle Dynamics and as you could probably tell by the title, I propose a new airshow map in DCS. Now I'll break down the video into three parts. First of all, what exactly it is that I'm proposing. Secondly, why I'm proposing it. And thirdly, how it will benefit absolutely everyone in the DCS community, irrespective of whether you personally desire an airshow map location in DCS or you don't. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. We have two good engine size. You're clear to disconnect the headset. We'll see you on the left with the pin. Thanks a lot. Okay, so first of all, what is it exactly that I'm proposing? I propose that Eagle Dynamics creates a small map based entirely around one airport or airbase where an iconic airshow location um, happens to be, such as, for example, Oshkosh, maybe Sun and Fun, maybe Fairford, you know, choose your pick, whatever it is. Now, what do I mean by small? I propose that the map is literally all about just the airshow itself, right? So. In other words, it doesn't need to be more than 20 by 20 kilometers, right? Now, in that area, you know, you could have a relatively high fidelity uh, in terms of scenery. You know, you could have the air show itself where around the base, around the airport, where you have a lot of detail and then it sort of drops off towards, you know, 20 kilometers and then out towards the horizon. It could be some sort of satellite imagery. Um, and because it doesn't really matter. The whole point is to make it highly detailed around the air show and within the air show box, within the air show display area, effectively. So it doesn't need to be a big map, and therefore it's not going to take them a huge amount of time or resources to create a map such as this. Now, why exactly am I proposing this? Well, as a lot of you probably know that follow my channel, I am a huge fan of flying air show displays. I do it all the damn time. And wherever possible, I usually try and create an airshow environment. I often try and base it on real-world locations and sort of recreate um, reality like it, like it is. Or occasionally, I sort of create my own version of reality with an airshow um, because you know our locations are sort of limited in DCS. Now, the problem with me doing it the way I do it is I often run into a problem. I absolutely cannot run the scenarios that I want to run using the mods and the static objects that I try and sort of horseshoe into a certain particular location to try and make it look like it's a real air show. Now, a good example of this is right here. This is Ramat David uh, in Israel and they actually do host an air show there occasionally and I've tried to recreate it just based off you know the photos that I've seen in real life and this is what I've come up with. And as you can probably tell, there's not exactly a huge amount of objects here. There's a couple of airplanes, a couple of statics, and a couple of people there on the display line. However, even this absolutely tanks my performance here to the point of where I've actually never used this scenario. I've created it like two years ago, and I haven't used it because it absolutely tanks what I have. And I'm not prepared to lower my graphical settings to the point of where everything else looks terrible. So. I'm at this point of where I can't really recreate something like this and this is a problem that I, I keep hitting all the time. For example, at Nellis Air Force Base, I was there at an air show in uh, Las Vegas uh, at Nellis uh, in 2022. Um, as soon as I got home, I was like, alright, let's create this air show location in DCS and I tried and uh, what you see on screen now is after I've tested it and deleted more than half of the objects that I had on this um, because it just it simply doesn't run well and I mean even now with what you're seeing it, it, it it's re absolutely tanks performance as well um, and that's considering the fact that Nellis generally in the NTTR map runs pretty well on my system so the reason I propose that Eagle Dynamics uh, make such a map is because they can optimize it they don't need to use high polygon models for a lot of the stuff like airplanes little airplanes parked up with people doing their you know the fly and stuff and the camping um, and again with Airshow Crowd, they could optimize all of that stuff, all the scenery, which we can't. Um, and we're always going to be struggling with the amount of polygons and the amount of you know, processing power, and computing power, and graphics uh, card power that we need and require to run anything even remotely close to this. So at the moment, 
recreating a big air show was just physically not possible in DCS. It's not, you know, it's not practical. You just don't have the performance to do it. So that is why I propose that they do it. Now, let me get into why I think this will actually benefit the entire community. Even if you don't care about air show maps, I'm telling you, I think this is going to be good for everyone. Um, now, here's why. I propose that Eagle Dynamics makes this map, the small map, which, like I say, shouldn't take a huge amount of resources or time to develop, free. Especially because I think we currently have a big problem with new players entering DCS world. Because when they download DCS for the first time, they're met with two airplanes, which, in my opinion, are not really up to the task. I believe there should be a high fidelity or a full fidelity airplane in there as well, but that's a separate topic which um, I, I digress on. Uh, but also they're met with two maps. The Caucasus map, which uh, as much as I love it still to this day, it's looking a little bit old and dated when it comes to air bases, doesn't really have the fidelity, uh, doesn't have the immersion. Um, and the Mariana Silence map, as great as that map is, well, first of all, it's again, it absolutely tanks performance. I can't even fly fast jets on it because I just, unless I prepare to, you know, lower the graphical setting by a certain high degree. Um, and also because it's in the middle of letting know where nobody knows about the Mariana Islands anyway, unless you happen to be a die-hard you know, military aviation enthusiast and American, I think, then you might. But otherwise, nobody really cares about that as a location, right? So. My proposal to create an airshow map free um, is because, you know, a lot of people go to airshows. If you think about it, lots of people who are at airshows uh, either fall in love with the military aviation or just aviation in general and then want to go and fly at an airshow somewhere in a simulator. And they can't do that anywhere, literally anywhere. Not even Microsoft Flight Simulator, although they've re replicated the Reno Air Races. You can't actually go and just mess around there. You have to fly the stupid race. And in DCS, where it's like the only flight simulator where we have really good flight dynamics for high performance aircraft, such as fighter jets and, you know, some propeller aircraft too, I guess. Um, we don't have an a, a air show location at all, unless you're like me and trying to, you know, create one from mods and whatever. I mean, a lot of people don't even know how to, you know, download mods, never mind about, you know, spending time to actually try and, you know, position every tiny little object where they want, and then testing and then figuring out that it's, you know, their computer is just not powerful enough to run it. So I believe Eagle Dynamics should use this opportunity to create a new free map that will be accessible to everyone, that will be fun for everyone because it just means you can hop in an airplane and go and just have fun around the airbase. You've got some great scenery to look at, which we currently don't have. And it will keep people like me happy because I want to fly an air show display that looks somewhat realistic with a somewhat realistic crowd, with a somewhat realistic, you know, scenery kind of catered and optimized as if you're actually there at an air show. I mean, they could even go, you know, add a little details and have like air show commentary going on, some sort of generic commentary going on in the background, whatever, various little things. They could make it very immersive and I don't believe that it'll take them a huge amount of time. They could optimize the scenery. Um, they could maybe even have a few versions of the uh, air show. They could have an empty airbase or field or airport, whatever they choose. Um, they could have a couple of airplanes on there and then they could have like, you know, the full thing, the full shebang. Uh, where they got every static object you can imagine. Of course, that's great because it caters to everybody's performance uh, requirements. You can have a little bit less scenery, have more performance. Um, but anyway, I personally think attracting new players to the DCS community with such a map uh, would, well, effectively bring Eagle Dynamics more revenue in the long term because, it, you know, the more people you attract for free, the more the you know they'll buy the next module and the next map, etc., etc. And if Eagle Dynamics has a bigger user base and makes more money, we benefit as the community because at the end of the day, we're gonna have better modules, we're gonna have more people working on the Eagle Dynamics team, more features, etc., etc. So therefore, my reasoning is, even if you do not care about air show displays or air show maps, I think. This would be a golden opportunity to make some of us, those of us that like air shows anyway, happy and at the same time bring new players to um, the franchise without having to spend a huge amount of new resources or time, like I say, um, to do so. So if you disagree with my reasoning, please make sure to comment down below and tell me why you think I'm wrong. Um, but personally, I think this could be a bit of a genius idea. 
Um, but anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed that little video. Uh, I know it's been a little bit of an unusual one. If you're interested in seeing my air show displays, then um, have a look in the description, have a look in the pinned comment. I'll, uh, I'll leave it all in there. But other than that, please smash the living daylight out of the like button for this video and perhaps some of the other air show display videos as well if you end up watching them. And please tell Eagle Dynamics to make the air show map happen. Uh, I would personally love Oshkosh, but if you have some other ideas, please comment down below. And uh, if you think this is not going to work, then comment down below anyway, and uh, we can have a little bit of a debate about it. Uh, so with that said, folks, once again, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. Adios.